having babies on the farm is like the most fun thing ever. But this time we are hatching something a little more out of what we've done in the past. And it's that time getting some eggs in the incubator and getting them ready for springtime. Any guesses, last minute guesses, right before I show you? Quail eggs. I am so excited to try to hatch these. These are Caternix quail. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not sh even sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, I've never hatched quail eggs, so I hope that I do this right. Um, but we've got two dozen here. They didn't have very many of the blue, so we they just gave us what they had. Um, all the rest are kind of this brown and white. My main goal for these quail are for uh, a meat source for our family, um, as well as, I mean, eggs are a plus. Um, I don't know if you guys have been noticing the rising prices in chicken and beef. I went to go pick up a three pound bag of frozen chicken. Last week I paid $7 and some change. Well, yesterday I ended up paying $9 and some change. Um, yeah, the chicken went up like $2, um, in like a week and a half, um, which is like a huge amount. I mean, I know that that seems so minuscule, but when every single item on my grocery list is going up 50 cents to a dollar or two, um, it starts to add up. <laughs> um, our budget has had to go up because... Um, of rising food prices. I'm really hopeful with raising our own quail that we will be able to um, have a, just a separate meat source that is our own. I'm gonna put these quail eggs into the incubator sometime today. Right now I'm trying to get the incubator up and running and get it a nice even temperature and humidity. Uh, get it just right before I put my quail eggs in um, to make sure that we're not going to have any um, major temperature and humidity fluctuations. I'm not sure that this is where this is going to stay just because I do have kids and yeah, <laughs> I think that explains a lot. So I am going to put a power strip here and plug the incubator into the power strip uh, just to try to protect it from any um, electrical things that might happen. Do you have it in its um, foam and it does seem to help regulate the temperature a lot better um, than when it wasn't. Um, so that's what I've learned with the chicken eggs. I have a sponge here I'm gonna put in here. This is um, just kind of damp. That should help with the humidity levels. Uh, I learned that from our from hatching our chicken eggs. This is really nothing special um this incubator uh it's kind of a chinese made thing that i got off of amazon um but right now it looks like we are holding at 16 percent humidity and we're at 97 degrees um and i have two different thermometers in here just to kind of compare them to each other um, i found that this thermometer that's on here and the humidity on here isn't usually very accurate they're both reading at 97 degrees um which that temperature needs to come up so what i need to do is adjust um this i'm gonna go ahead and put um this sponge in there and try to see if we can bring up the humidity um to about 40%, 40 to 45% would be ideal um, for incubating quail eggs. And then I need to bring up this temperature to about 99.5 or just slightly higher. been quite a while since I put that sponge um, in the incubator. I adjusted the heat. I haven't checked to see uh, what it looks like. Um, 
it's maybe been an hour and a half. Um, we're at 30% humidity. This one's also saying 30% humidity. Um, and then it's saying that we're at 99 degrees Fahrenheit on this bigger one. And this one's also saying 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is the perfect temperature. That's exactly where we want it. Um, the humidity needs to come up about 10 to 15% ideally. I'm gonna go ahead and go grab another sponge and add it to this side um, and see if that can bring up our humidity to the right level. All right, so we went ahead and moved um, the incubator into our spare storage room, bedroom. Um, and I think that this will be its home for the duration of this incubation. So when you are storing your eggs for incubation, um, you need to store them with the pointy side down. Let's see if you can kind of see that. Normally they say to wait 24 hours when you um, get your eggs like mailed to you or something. Um, we went and picked these up locally, so um, I feel like they are okay to put in the incubator now. So something I am a little worried about is how loose these are in um, these egg trays. Um, I am worried that they're going to be too loose. I wanna watch them get turned. We're gonna go ahead and reset this. This shows me the number of days on here. You see this where it says zero, zero. I reset this to day zero um, and it should make it turn. And I am worried about these turning and then getting um, jostled. So there it goes, it's turning the eggs. I think it'll be all right. It definitely freaks me out a little bit, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna make sure that these um, get back up to the right temperature and humidity. I'm sorry if it's really loud in here, you guys. My furnace is in here in this extra bedroom, and so um, I am really sorry if it's loud. You guys will see us again um, here in about a week when we candle these eggs, um, and you guys will be able to go with us on this process of um, hatching these quail, hopefully. I hope they'll hatch. I've never hatched quail before, but I have hatched chicken eggs. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time.